Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons commentary, and I'm going to talk about Chelsea Fagan on the financial diet and the quiet part la spoken loud on her channel, and I'm going to talk about the mental state of commentators on YouTube. I'm a Dungeons and Dragons commentator on YouTube. It doesn't matter that I comment on on Dungeons and Dragons, Chelsea Fagan comments on the fine on American finance. Okay. And, um, she might say that she comments on global finance, but I, I don't know if she really can. I, I think she, uh, comments on American finance. I, I'm not sure how she defines it. Um, but we're going to talk about mental state as a YouTube commentator. I happen to be on Dungeons and Dragons, and there's a lot of, and, and I don't think it's a small thing to, I think it's part of it. There's a lot of people who commentate on Dungeons and Dragons. I think there's easily a thousand daily Dungeons and Dragons commentators now on YouTube alone. So we are a community in ourselves. And I want to open this conversation so that we can start to speak about this with respect, with some respect in our mouths, because people are talking without respect in their mouths, and that's painful for, for YouTube commentators. Uh, and including Dungeons and Dragons YouTube commentators. All right, so let's let's get there. Okay, so Chelsea Fagan, uh, she has the financial diet right here on YouTube. She is absolutely brilliant. If you have never been on her channel, get over there. You're like, ah, Scott, I don't care about finance. Um, you should watch Chelsea Fagan because she makes finance commentary bearable. Like, you know, I, I get it. If you know, if you're if you don't listen to financial commentary, I get it. Most most financial commentators are boring as dirt and have no 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 charisma, no confidence, no intelligence. So what's the point of, of of actually? They do all have intelligence. They have no confidence and no charisma, which means it's painful to listen to them. I don't think there's a, no. I don't think there's any. Actually, you know, all financial commentators on YouTube, I think, are bringing a pretty significant level of intelligence. They just bring no charisma and no confidence. Some of them even have confidence, but where's the riz? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Come on. All right. So, um, so basically at that, and Hey, I could say riz is a big part of it. <laughs> Gary said riz was important. He, he, he put a number on it, man. Like he put a number on it. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, yeah, my riz is 18. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, actually that was a joke. I think my riz is actually 16. All right. There we go. All right. <laughs> so here, let's get into this. So Chelsea Fagan, a phenomenal YouTube channel, okay? But she does just what I do, right? Just gets on YouTube, kicks it, like throws down some slamming, completely unique commentary, right? Completely unique commentary, right? And commentary is dime a dozen. Unique commentary is not a dime a dozen. I have, I've worked for nine years to make my, my, and trust and believe, you could say my commentary is wrong. You could say my commentary is foolish. And all of those are completely fair to say. You have every right to say that, okay? But what you cannot say is that it is bog standard or template. You ain't going to find what I am saying anywhere uh, anywhere else. I guarantee that. I guarantee that, okay? All right. So, Chelsea Fagan comes on, and she says something incredible. She says, in 2023, I had a little menti B. <laughs> and she and she literally puts lol in the title of the video. She talks the entire video about her own mental health state. And she says flat out, right? She says, I had a little menti B. She doesn't say flat out. She works her way to it and then clarifies that she had a mental breakdown in 2023. What now? What now? And get this. She was making con content the whole year. And you know how I know? Because I watched it. I watched all of it, right? Like, right? So she had a mental breakdown in 2023, explained how and why, right? And did not stop making content, right? Like she just kept rolling, right? And I was like, uh, wow. Now, first of all, there's a whole nother video. You guys are so patient. I often will start talking about a video and go, oh my gosh, I want to say something on this, but I'm like, that's a whole nother video. I cannot touch it. I cannot even touch in this video the fact that she had a mental breakdown, made a whole bunch of content that was banger, like just 
top-notch content. Like that, that's its own subject. I can't even, I don't even have the time to touch it right now. We'll put that on the shelf, maybe someday that other video will happen. Right now, let's talk about Ch Chelsea Fagan saying the quiet part loud. And that is important today. Like we, I love when people say the quiet part loud. You know, it takes incredible courage. It takes sacrifice. It takes vulnerability. It takes transparency. And uh, Chelsea Fagan is a queen among women. She is just, she is the bomb. She really, and, I, and I'm really thankful for her being so open and honest, right? All right, so with that said, why are we talking about this now? Right. Well, first of all, Chelsea allowed us to talk about it. She went first, right? And she said, "Hey, as commentators, let's start talking about our mental health state." Now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take courage from Chelsea and share with you. I have never had a mental breakdown, right? Not in the nine years I've been doing ever in my life, right? I have never had a mental breakdown, uh, including the nine years I have been doing my Dungeons and Dragons commentary on, um on YouTube, right? Now, here's the thing, right? My mental health state has certainly gone into valleys, right? And there have been times where my mental health state, I reached the pinnacle of the mountain, right? So I've been through valleys and I've been at mountain peak, on mountain peaks, right? I've never had a mental breakdown the way Chelsea Fagan did. And I'm really appreciative of her honesty. And, uh, and that's important, that's incredibly important, right? And so, so basically, the reason why we're talking about this today is, one, I do a video a day. Actually, I do a lot more than a video a day on Dungeons and & Dragons, and I've been doing it for nine years. And I'm going to continue, and my plan is to continue to do it, right? So that means you're going to see me in a valley, and you're going to see me on a mountain peak from my mental health state. This is my opinion, okay? You have every right to say, Scott, I think your content is wrong. Scott, I think your content is foolish. Scott, I think your content is, I get, those are the worst things you can say, I think, right? Like you could just say, hey, Scott, you're flat out wrong. You're so foolish. But the reality is my mental health state is not your business. Chelsea Fagan's mental health state was not our business. She kept rolling. She kept creating content as she was going through a mental breakdown. She clearly stated that, right? And it was banger. It was incredible, it was incredible content. And no, like now hearing that, I, I don't look back on her content and go, oh, I shouldn't have listened to that. I'm like, oh, thank goodness I had this banger content made by this woman who was going through a mental breakdown at the time, right? Like, which is really fascinating, right? Like, but the reality is, I've never in my life gone on Chelsea Fagan. And last year, if I had, I could have said, hey, you know, anybody could have said, hey, I think your content seems like you're not mentally stable, right? They could have done that, but they shouldn't. It's not their business. Their business is to look at the content and say, this is wrong or this is foolish. It's totally okay. You could call me a fool any day of the week. Because I would say one day a year, I am a fool. I do get it wrong. I do I do publish foolish things at times because I am a human, right? And you can call those out. But at no point can you use the C-R-A-Z word or the A or the I-N-S-A-N word. And I'm going to say this again because I don't want anybody to be surprised. You put those anywhere in your content, I guarantee you, you're gonna get blocked so fast, it will make your head spin, okay? Like, my mental health state is my business. My content is your business. And you could say it's wrong, you could say it's foolish, but keep the comments on the content, not on me, right? And thank you, Chelsea Fagan, for coming out, saying the quiet power loud, and opening this discussion. And I wanna, and I wanna say out there, there are a lot of you that comment, do exactly what I just asked. Always comment on the content and give grace to me. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. So that is my open and honest discussion of being a YouTube commentator. I happen to commentate on Dungeons and Dragons. As daily and hitting those, you know, mental health valleys and hitting those mental health mountain peaks, right? 
and just and asking you as a commenter to understand what that means on your end and for you for those of you who have supported me so much i just want to say a huge thank you for being kind tolerant and even loving about my mental health state through the nine years i've been doing this thank you once again chelsea fagan for your incredible courage uh and i just wanted to say thank you um please consider liking and subscribing every single word you just heard is my humble opinion nothing more nothing less please consider liking and subscribing and have a fetch millennium